guys, Yawk Pest here, and today we are back with another ESPN Fantasy Baseball uh, League. So today let's go over uh, my what happened this week. Um, this week I played Patrick, who is 10th in, our, in my power rankings. Um, it was actually a very close game. I wish that it wasn't this close, uh, but it was. He beat me in runs. He beat me in home runs and RBIs. So... I'll, I'll explain to you what happened there. My guys just didn't hit for some reason. We tied on stolen bases. I wish I got one more. Um, but I had the better average. I had more strikeouts, more one more win, two more saves, better ERA, and better whip. Um, the box score. I'm trying to figure out who has the... Okay, well... Um, the best, the most runs for my team was uh, Aaron Judge with eight. That's because he hit a lot of home runs. Um, the most home runs this week was Aaron Judge with five. Um, and then the most RBIs with was Aaron Judge as well. Um, stolen bases with three is Julio Rodriguez. And average... is 400 for Johnny Jonathan India um, even though he didn't play that much innings pitched Nathan Avaldi um, has the most innings pitched Tyler McGill has zero hits Jorge Lopez has zero hits Josh Hayes zero hits earned runs McGill Manoa Lopez Hader all have zero ru earned runs walks Yavaldi had zero walks. He's in first. Strikeouts. Max Scherzer had 19. Dylan Bundy. Nope. Nathan Yavaldi had 13. Wins. McGill, Manoa, Wright, Lopez, and Scherzer all had a win. And then saves. Josh Hader with two saves. ERA and whip. No one really calls, cares about that. Um, so let's go to my team. I'm going to show you the additions that I picked up. Um, Trey Turner, we talked about him. I added Luis Robert. He's back, um, from the day-to-day -day list. I also added Taylor Ward, um, because I needed to add someone for Jonathan India. Because um, he went back on the IL. He was, he was activated, then he went back on the IL. Um, so I reinstated Alex Cobb from the IL, um, and I also picked up Jorge Lopez and Kyle Wright, um, and they haven't really done much except for saves and strikeouts, so I'm not complaining. So this week, our recent transactions was, were that I added Julio, oh, oh my god, Jorge Lopez. Um, I added Kyle Wright, dropped Carlos Carrasco after a horrible outing. Noah dropped Frank Schwindel and added Madison Bumgarner, because um, that's his team name, so I guess he had to, right? I dropped Erod and picked up Taylor Ward from free agency. So those were the... That's pretty much it. Um, let's just go back to the scoreboard of last week. Um, Nick beat Jason 7-3, to three. um, Noah beat Garrett 8-2, to that's kind of a big win, Kevin beat Evan 6-4, to four, um, which was actually a close game, uh, for them, and then the surprise of the week, my uncle beating the number one seeded Kai by 10 categories, how does that happen? That's crazy, okay, well, that was just a whole awful week for, uh, Kai there. Uh, so that's where we're gonna get into our power rankings. Oh, by the way, I also trade. I also, since I traded Mike Trout, I uh, switched my name to Don't Hater Me. Hater the game. Pretty clever. All right, power rankings. Since Kai lost this week, um, I have now moved up to the number one spot. That is now followed by Nick, who came off a win against Jason. Ka or Kevin moves up to the three spot after a win against Evan. 
Evan stays or is did he stay at four? No, he does move up one um, to spot number four just because he put up a good fight against Kevin there. Um, at number five, I have my uncle um, after a huge upset victory against Kai. Kai is at now number six. Um, he dropped five spots almost. Maybe six. I don't, I don't feel like doing that. At seven, um, this is Noah. He came off of... He moves up one spot after coming off a win f uh, against Garrett. At eight, Jason moves down another slot, and he is now um, at eight. Garrett is at nine after losing to Noah again. And then Patrick has stayed at ten for three weeks now. Um, so hopefully we, we can do better next week. Um, in the hitting department. Right now, we have a run, a stolen base, and a 555 average. But he does have 16 strikeouts and one win. And I is that just Corbin Burns? I hope that's two players. That's one, two, three. That's four players. Okay. I was about to say if that's just Corbin Burns, I'm screwed. Um. But it sucks because Garrett still hasn't put in Mike Trout, who's I, I should never have traded. He is killing it right now. Um, and still hasn't put in Jordan Um But for now, thanks guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, let me know if you want to see any trades um, for this uh, fantasy baseball season. Um, so thanks guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys later. You're told I'll be a harder temptation.